Hi, Coach Chris, Coach Diego, Kaizen Jiu-Jitsu, and Muay Thai. What we're going to work on today is a beginner series video for how to hold mitts. When it comes to holding mitts and holding pads, it can be one of the scariest things for a beginner. The punches seem like they're coming close to your face. It's really loud, but we're going to work through that today and give you uh, some good tips on how to hold mats to keep your partner safe and keep you safe. So first, when I put the mitts on, I want to make sure that my hand goes in, and once I go in, I'm going to feel like a half of a ball in here. I grip that ball, and then I make sure that they're on tightly. As I hold the mitts, one thing that you want to make sure you're doing is actually hold in front of your face, just like this. Don't hold out. You'll see that if I hold out, when he punches, my shoulder will go back. This is not a good position for your shoulder. You want the, your shoulder to be in line right here in front of your face. Now from this uh, perspective here, you'll notice that my shoulders are uh, safe versus out here, my shoulders are in danger. Additionally, what I want to do is when he goes to throw, I smack into his punch. So if I don't do that, my hand will go back once again. My shoulder, as my partner punches harder, is more in risk. I want to give him the feedback of actually smacking into it. And you'll see it's a small smack. So we're going to throw what's called a one-two. He's going to throw a jab and a straight. You'll see my mitts are in front of my face. And you'll see he does not punch until he sees the inside of the mitt. I hold these close to my body because I'm in charge of the drill as being the pad holder. So I show him the one-two. He's gonna go jab straight. So jab straight, and you saw how I hit into him. Now the hook, when I go to hold for the hook, I'm once again gonna keep my shoulder in a safe position. This is going to be in front of my face, and as he throws, I'm gonna smack. So when he does the hook, I just smack into it. Hook, smack. So we're gonna do a one, two, three, a jab, straight, hook, and you'll see how I change my glove or my mitt positioning for those. Good, one more time. Last punch you'll probably work on with these mitts is a body shot. How I like to do the body shot is I place the mitt onto the side of my body and then I cover with the second mitt. At the same time, I brace my core just so I don't get rocked around too much when I, when I get hit or when the match, uh, mitts get hit. So he throws and you'll see how I push with my whole body into the, into the punch. Once again, straight down, it gives him a good base to hit. The final thing I want to talk about with the focus mitts is when we're actively throwing back at our partner in training. What you want to make sure you do is I'm going to throw my right hand. What I want to make sure I do is I throw straight, just as if I was throwing the right hand straight, and I'm going to throw at his head. Now, Diego is going to slip in this uh, instance. So he's going to slip, and I always throw as where his head was when I begin my movement. Okay? Don't follow his head. All right, that's unrealistic, okay? And you're just going to hit him in the head. Um, a lot of times what people tend to do is they're afraid they're going to hit their partner in the head. So what they start doing is they start throwing it out away from their head. But let's imagine for a second that I'm throwing out here so that the Diego doesn't get hit because I'm afraid to hit him. And Diego messes up. He slips the wrong direction. I'm going to hit him. So for his safety and for the benefit of his training, I always throw straight. Always throw straight at his head. When I'm working with the hook, and Diego's going to do a duck here off of my lead hook, what I do is I turn the mitt over so that he ducks. Okay, whether he's blocking or ducking, but we're using a duck in this scenario. I turn the mitt over and I throw. I don't go like this because you can see the mitt is a little bit larger than a regular glove, and it gives him less space to work, and I might catch the top of his head. So that's the main tips that I have for you. Make sure that the, glove, or the mitts are in front of your face, okay? Protecting your shoulders. Hit against the punches. Hook is held out here. Body shots, I like to cover 
the mitt and brace my core. I always move in with my hand or support my body into the punches. And when I throw and I'm active with him, I throw straight at his head for straights and I turn the mitt horizontal for hooks. So that's all we have for tips for just starting out with the focus mitts. I hope these help you in your Muay Thai journey. Thank you.